This is a selection of poems from the collection Questions for a Da by Ijoma Umebinuo. Do not forget your lineage. Do not shrink. Do not bend yourself. Do not shift your tongue for anyone. Whenever you forget who you are, remember the history you have inherited. Now speak. Brave. Even strong women who fall in love with men break apart on the bathroom floor at a quarter to three a.m., hugging their knees and cursing their reflection. Nobody warned you that the woman whose feet you cut from running will give birth to daughters with wings. I needed myself, and I found her. You are 22. The boy you let love you has had enough of your sugar, so you label yourself unwanted as you begin to feel in the dark, pinching your body, apologizing for all your extras. Chewing Flowers I am writing for the women who were once girls judging themselves through the eyes of souls who couldn't comprehend their light. I am writing for the woman who stammered just to speak and who forced themselves into silence when ugly words were once thrown at them. I am writing for the women who keep kneeling, screaming at their phone as lovers leave, as friends depart. I am writing for all these women who still show up with a smile after battling their demons the night before. I am also writing for the women who do not smile the next day. Women who need a day or two to recover from the brutalities of the world. Love letter to a day, Yemi. Dear Yemi, remember how to weep without filling your blood with pain. You must remember never to cut your hair out of anger. You must remember never to curse at the person staring at you through the mirror. Even when you cannot remember her face. Even when her eyes hold an ocean of pain. You must remember how to hold yourself back from hurting others when your anger swells into days. You must learn how to heal yourself when the nights make it seem impossible. You must remember how to sing yourself away from sorrows, how to wash yourself till the sadness weeps out of your body. You must remember how to hold yourself on days that feel so empty the pain echoes. You are a woman, a vast land filled with holy cities. You are a woman becoming. You are a song to your mother, a city filled with landmarks of joy. You are a woman, a vast land, a holy city. You teach your daughters how to rub poison on their skin. Remember to teach your sons how not to be serpents. Confession I came to you as a wildflower, as a woman who has passed through different stages of her womanhood. To know not even the sweetest man deserves my silence. You are not holy water. Flawed as I am, I am not a sin. I have organized all my fears, 
We are having a rally tonight. Please, come attend. Write a poem for your 14-year-old self. Forgive her. Heal her. Free her. Broken. This is what you tell your best friend still screaming into the night on days when she remembers. You must tell her she is a garden of light. You must listen to her cry and not interrupt her. You plant flowers inside your words. You must listen to her pain. You must not let her die screaming her pains outside her body. This is what you must tell your friend when she calls you, unable to sleep, wanting for the darkness to go. She wants to feel normal again. You must sit place her head on your thigh, then you must sing to her. This is what you do when she calls telling you how she tried living but the pain keeps coming back. You must remember to plant flowers inside the words you give her. You must call her a survivor. You must tell her she is loved. You must never let go. You must show her light. Ulo, I will return home to six graves with a foreign accent. I will kneel and greet each of them, waiting for them to bless me. I will return home to six graves, sitting where I was once just a little girl. I will imagine her dancing to welcome me, offering me roasted yam and peppered palm oil. I will remember their smiles. She will remember me even with my foreign accent. She will still speak evil. But I will return home to five graves, to the ancestors who held me as a baby, telling me who I once was in my former life. I will return home to five graves with a foreign accent, where Obianuju means she came in abundance. I will return home as half-eaten love poems, never a foreigner, always the daughter of her people. love poem. Your lover has a sneaky way of hiding her poems inside her mouth, on her neck, between her thighs. You are not weak. You are not weak. You're just tired for now. You are not quitting. I know you. I know you. You are just resting, darling. Poem number five. Healing comes in waves. And maybe today the wave hits the rocks. And that's okay. That's okay, darling. You are still healing. You are still healing. Coconut oil. And whipped shea butter. And peppermint oil. And my lover's touch. and our glorious blackness. Questions for a doc. 
Ada, are you in love? Yes. Is being in a relationship hard work? Yes. Do you write love poems for your lover? Every day. Does your lover believe in you? Yes, but sometimes I fear my lover does not comprehend her life. What do you do on those days? I bathe her. I play her some jazz. I feed her. I root for her. Describe her in a sentence. Her eyes carry strength. Her words scratch. She speaks love. Ada, are you in love? Yes. Is being in a relationship hard work? Yes. Who is your lover? Myself. Are you shrinking yourself again, darling? There are love poems on the edges of my skin. I watch my lover gently kiss them into freedom. The Returnee you wear your short skirts while speaking with an accent so foreign to your people. You carry your camera with eyes of pity, telling everyone how much freedom they're missing. You roll your eyes when the waiter forgets to add the extra slice of lemon in your water. You seek big vocabularies to explain how nothing just works in the land of your father. You sit in traffic in your air-conditioned car cursing the horrible traffic. You tell your driver he needs to speak proper English, not his pigeon English with a Yoruba accent. You are on the phone with your friend from London, and she laughs at the silliness of it all, at the backwardness of your homeland. You do not notice how no one has ever asked for you to spell your name. See how shamelessly you have forgotten whose breasts nourished you. For the foreign educated returnee, the day your education makes you roll your eyes at your father, the day your exposure makes you call your own mother uncivilized, the day your amazing foreign degrees make you cringe as your driver speaks pigeon English, may you never forget your grandfather was a farmer from Oyo State who never understood English. Like you, I am tired of waking up to news of death. Prodigal. When they call you, telling you how they wish you were never born. You listen to them call you a failure. You quietly cut the call and strip naked. You walk into your bathroom and turn on the shower. You cry your heart out. You come out dripping of swallowed excuses. You call me as you kneel on the bathroom floor, telling me how badly you want to live. I tell you to hold on. I tell you sometimes the moon is too weak to be full. Today, there are just too many clouds. Just today. You say how weak your life has gotten. I listen to you curse God. I do not correct you. These suns don't come easy anymore. I watch you peel your skin in silence. I watch you fight your fight in anger. You say yellow, and I say joy. You say God. Baby, I say you. The Wash. Kwame has beautiful dark skin, his teeth gloriously white. In primary five, he returned home one day, begging not to go back to school, his accent thick like smog in Accra. 
Ghana on his tongue, he loved to laugh, and he loved to dance. Slowly, Kwame stopped speaking out loud when the little kids laughed at the way he pronounced Wata. Kwame stopped dancing when animal noises were made by his classmates. But Kwame has beautiful dark skin, his teeth gloriously white. His mother begged him to tell her why he calls her food disgusting. Kwame changed his name to Steve in school, but he still couldn't fit in. He scrubbed his skin till it was sore. Still, he glowed like his ancestors. One day, his mother saw Kwame kneeling beside his bed, begging God to make his midnight skin color go away. Use their hate as an ointment to glow even more. Let them wonder how people like you they have tried to break still shine. Water for fire, honey for wounds, flowers for my soul, kindness for your hate, burnt my anger into joy. Are you shrinking yourself again, darling? Ada, are you afraid? I was. Why were you afraid? They do not look like me. Why are you no longer afraid? The girls like me will see me. Representation. Representation. Diaspora Blues. So, here you are. Too foreign for home. Too foreign for here. Never enough for both. You asked your father how they should say your name. He said, if they cannot say your name, then they must try. But you will not soften it. You will not break the magic apart. You will not be ashamed of it. Anger. Please be still. I am writing you into a poem. Just a minute. Let me remove. Inside your veins. Quench. My body still tastes of him as my mouth says his name at night. The heaviness in my chest still lingers. My thighs still sink him. I am clinging to memories. Even in water. Kinikachuku, kinky hair, tough hair, rich melanin. Auntie is writing about how I danced when you were born. Auntie is writing about how you made the house so warm with your infectious laughter. Kinky hair, tough hair, rich melanin. Auntie knows, Auntie knows. The world might show you as unwanted. Auntie knows you are pure gold, infectious laughter loud neon smile, rich melanin. Auntie knows it might get tough sometimes. Kinikachuku, find me, find me. And if I am no longer on earth, please know this. Auntie has written enough poems to speak of your beauty forever.
lover, wrap my poems around your tongue. The morning in your voice gently wakes my soul. You gather my pain, throwing it back to yesterday. Kiss me again. Let me pick the sonnets from your lips. This has been a selection of poems from the collection Questions for Ada by Ijoma Umebinuo. Thank you for listening.